Hello, Veteran0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the last episode, we met Eric. And we escaped from the castle. Almost got fricasseed by a deadly black dragon. And according to Able Star, one of the commenters on my videos, uh, you can use the 2D mode or 3D mode or whatever mode uh, to go back in time once you're strong enough to this point in the game and defeat the black dragon. I don't know what the minimum level requirement for that is. Or, or anything along those lines. I don't know what you get. Apparently there's an alternate cutscene. Uh, but again, I have no idea what the incentive is to do something like that, but... I have been told. So there you go. But yeah, in this video we're gonna check out the dump. This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Now, it was around here somewhere. It's definitely here. I'm a thousand percent sure. Uh, it's not here. Oops. You gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Wait a minute. Rat! He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself! Damn it! I should have known! A thieving little... Wait till I get my hands on it! I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on, it's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. I don't know, buddy. Damn it. Bad luck for sure. a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Ruby runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. Oh, well, she's fucking huge, too. So that's another reason why you can't miss her. Anyway, yeah, I already looted inside here. So yeah, let's go up there and check it out. Why is he being so, so mean to that old lady? What did that old lady even do? Oh. 
dog. Good doggy. Stay. Ah, 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 ah. And there she was. Ah, can't find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Any luck? You saw her heading back to the inn? Great! Let's head over there and find out what she knows. Oh, don't worry. We're not going to miss her again. Well, if it isn't my favorite landlady. Huh? Welcome to our humble... Strike a light! If it ain't me favourite little tea leaf! Last I heard, they'd locked you up and thrown away the key! Hang about. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You and your friend here are the fugitives everyone's talking about! Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. You always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash ears, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where would he find the money? Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb! Look, in this part of town you don't go asking too many questions, you know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. No good traitor! I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore. And also he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <clears throat> but we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. <laughs> Great plan. <laughs> I just like how he just kind of comes to that conclusion. Just, yeah, let's just get a dog and scare the bejesus out of him. <laughs> Where are we gonna dog? Oh, well, let's just borrow one off someone. <laughs> I don't know, I just think it's funny. Oh wait, I gotta come down here and get a holy water real quick. Before I do anything else. Gonna need to anyways. I don't think I have one. No. Nope. Now I'll get two just for good measure. Uh, buzzberries you can get pretty much right outside uh, 
downtown Heliodor in the Heliodorian foothills. All you gotta do is just walk around and examine those fucking trees and you'll, you'll get buzzberries. Which is what this girl's gonna ask for. us out and this lady is now out of our way oh yeah it's as far as down here on the uh, lower part of this area. Yeah, that one treasure that he's talking about is behind a magic key door. Up here though, I think we're gonna have more. Yep. Yeah, so they, uh, they do have nose. Nose for treasure does count for different um, levels and floors. Basically, if the map changes, use nose for treasure. In case you're confused. Number two, and this guy. Hey, guy. Yeah, you live up here? I wouldn't want to live up here. Your camel? The redhead that runs the inn. When she was younger, she looked exactly like Roxy the Dancer. What? I don't believe that. You're fibbing. Well, apparently Ruby used to be a hot young redhead, but she definitely isn't now, that's for sure. Can I just, oh, I was going to say, can I just jump down? Apparently I can. Halt! This gate leads to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. Ah! 
No, no, not a, d d a d dog. Anything but that. <laughs> oh, what a pansy. Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. Yeah. Yeah, if you do notice for treasure in this area, there's a lot I missed. Even though I spent like a whole video exploring this town. So, I don't know what I missed, but as long as it's not like something like a mini metal or something like that, do I honestly even care? And I don't know, man. Again, I don't know how I missed 11 treasures in this town. But I did somehow. Well, I haven't been in Dirk's place yet. I know there's got to be treasure in there. Yeah, we got to use this. To get to the rich part. Treasures over there, I got already. I don't know, man. to browse, you'll find we only stock the very finest wares. That's good, because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Uh, Eric! Long time no see, old pal. <laughs> You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me! You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never! I promise you, I never sold you out! I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief. You know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. When you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. 
In the end, I realised I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? <laughs> ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. That's the spirit! Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. You mean you're gonna tell us where you think it is? More like. So yeah, this guy is more or less a reference to uh, Tornicoat Saloon from Dragon Quest IV, except this guy is an even worse fighter because, well, he just, you know, he's not a party member, so he doesn't fight for you. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, I guess that was Dirt's wife. So, where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Hmm? That's southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? Sorry, no can do. I've got a shop to run and I'm a married man these days. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> the South Gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrick's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from the other side. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kids' stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. Now... And this part of the game is probably, for me at least, the most challenging because you only have two characters and we're still relatively weak. I mean, we are really still relatively weak. Unfortunately. 
so it's going to be rough in the early going here, but that's alright. Most Dragon Quest games are kind of like that anyways, even, you know, without this draconian setting, you know, that I'm using. A lot of the games are kind of like that. In the beginning. for the feelings. Oh, okay, whatever. That makes sense. Don't want to make these jerks jealous. I will do something stupid. They try to fight me or something. So yeah, the mango grove is south of here. Actually, let me keep it night time. Because at night time, it is easier to kill night time enemies. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. Yeah. Well, look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. All right, buddy. Yeah, I do like Eric's lupine outfit. It is pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, oh yeah. I think I already got a quest from that, from this dude. I, I was about to say lady again. Not a lady. Alright. Got kind of ladyish type clothes, but you know, not a lady. Dude looks like a lady. Oh no, hell no, hell no! What are you doing? No, no, fight wisely. No, I can fight wise. I can fight more wisely than the wisely setting. Okay, way more wisely. I'm smarter than the AI. I don't know. There's a lot of people that say that you're meant to use the AI settings. I disagree. That works in like a Tales game. But a Dragon Quest game? No. If your lazy ass doesn't want to put in commands, then you're playing the wrong kind of game. And this isn't Final Fantasy XII's hybrid turn-based system either. Uh, oh boy, I need some medicinal herbs here. Fucking Christ. Like all of them. And the hell, these strong medicines, I might as well put these in there too.
Okay. I have not fought the bold kind of archers yet. Ow. I don't know anything. We're weak as fuck. I'm getting pounded by arrows. Fuck. Ah, see, there's more voiceovers. What are you doing? Do not see... Mistake. It was a mistake trying to fight these guys. Because they do that shit. I forgot about it. Can we pep up, please? We're getting pounded here. We should be pepping up, like, constantly. I gotta heal. Here. Watch, they're gonna call another one. No. They're not gonna call another one? Very surprising. Should've attacked the other one. Now we're using all our medicinal herbs on this one fucking battle. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Come on. Here. What did I say at the beginning of this video? That this part of the game sucks in Draconian. Because it truly does. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Can I... Fucking frustrating, man. Can, okay, enough, enough, enough! Why can't I go? Go, you idiot! Run! Run, you fucking idiots! God damn you! Well, as you can see, that was a fucking shit show. Because my characters are weak as fuck. I can't forge anything yet. It's just. <laughs> It's just a giant fucking shit show. In fact, I should just go ahead and just go to the Mangle Grove and say fuck this noise. And get the goddamn forge so I can start upgrading my gear because that's the only way that I'm going to make any progress. And I'm sorry if I sound overly frustrated, but I've already kind of tested this part of the game out before and yeah I'm just having flashbacks of recent frustration <laughs> of this part I do not like this part of the game because it's frankly a little unfair the enemy the, it's just unfair you only have two fucking characters and they're weak as fuck Everything is too strong. <laughs> it's very unbalanced. Everything hits like a truck, especially these stupid little fucking saber cats. They, these things hit like trucks. Sometimes they hit twice. Yeah, it's just too much. 
fuck it. Let's get the damn, let's get the damn forge already. I need the forge. Gotta have it. And you can buy stuff from this guy if you want. Inspector Jones again? Really? Oh yeah, actually, let's buy some more of these. Like a lot more of these. Do not chase me. I cannot defeat you. <laughs> not at this point. If I had unlimited pet powers, then I could. Just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves, <laughs> literally. We travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yep, yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. <laughs> we sure did when we got our hands on it. Wait, what? You're giving it to me? Behold, the fun size oh. forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and Bob's your uncle. New equipment. That easy, huh? And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Okay, yeah, uh, bronze swords, divine daggers. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out, and you're sure to find some beauties. Okay, forging. We're gonna make a divine dagger because Eric's dagger is shit. 
Oh, and in this version of the game, apparently you don't need to actually look up or find materials anymore. The game will automatically allow you to buy materials you're missing for recipes. Which is nice. Whoa. Brilliantly, nice. I got a plus three divine dagger right off the bat. Oh, that's what I call luck for your first fucking one, man. I will equip that immediately. Yeah, you get perfectionist pearls for items you create which is handy of course it's always better to buy them later on in the game uh yeah I'm done for now yeah it was good Yeah, you can use the fun size forge anytime you want now. As opposed to before, we could only do it at camps. Apparently, that was a real problem for many, many people playing this game, apparently. I don't know. It never was a problem for me. But yeah, Divine Dagger does 20% more damage against undead type enemies, which is nice. It's nice for those type enemies. Alright, and in here... We're gonna get a recipe book on how to make some scale equipment. Most notably the scale armor. I don't care about scale shields. But if you're one of those people that are using shields, then there you go. You can make scale shields now. Get that recipe book. What you probably want to do. I know I do. Really well is on the way to plus three. Not that I care about getting a scale armor to plus three, mind you, but hey. If you are trying to plus three something, if you get plus two your first time, take it. It's usually very easy to plus three it once you plus two an item. I don't know, there's people that, I don't know, are complaining about or mentioning to me that, yeah, they, they got rid of the, uh, the cooldown time for the forge or whatever. I'm like, dude, that was never an issue for me in uh, the vanilla game even. That was never an issue. But yeah, I'm going to rework my greatsword because it's fucking shit if I don't. Thank you. 
really well. Again, plus two, you want to take it. Now watch, watch how easy it is to get the plus three now, that I got the plus two. I probably won't even really have to even try that hard here. Well, especially if I get freaking criticals on all this shit. As long as I get each one in the green area somewhat. Yeah, it'll be easily be enough to plus three it. Yeah, you might have to use more pearls. But that's not an issue. I mean, if you need more pearls in this early going part, I mean, just fucking craft some, some junk gear. You can always turn around and sell the junk gear, too, that you're making. Like, I could make more divine daggers if I wanted to. Um... Yeah, I guess I could show off making a shield. Not that I'm gonna use it. Yeah, really shit. I'll be lucky if that's even... Nah, that'd probably just be... That won't even be plus one. Yeah, it's just normal. Yeah, if it's normal, and I mean, if you fail, you'll still get the item, but you won't get any perfection pearls. If you get a normal, like I did, did just there, that's some minimum you can forge an item at to get perfection pearls, in case you're wondering. Plus three dagger without even trying. Too bad I don't have dual wield already. Okay, where is. Oh, hell no. So the stupid Emporium guy is up there instead of by the campsite? Fucking hell, man. And now the game's not gonna let me go that way? But I wanna buy a better boomerang! Fuck! Piss me off some more, game. Fuck you. Oh no, you can't go that way. Since when? Fucking hell, man. I guess I'm just gonna upgrade this piece of shit. Read it.
Well, hold on. I'm doing further gear here. Wayfair is close. Yeah, clip that. Two defense for two MP, and I don't give a shit about charm. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going with leather hat. I need more defense right now. A little bit more important. Need some gear. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the next episode, I'm going to be going around trying to uh, fight enemies and level up and hopefully get some better gear in the process too man because again my characters right now are pretty fucking weak but I think with some plus three weapons and gear yeah that's that's gonna help immensely see you next time bye bye